Check out this video. You might think looks a little like Black Friday, right? But mm. no, this is footage from one of those Stanley Cup releases earlier this month. By now, you probably have realized that it's not the hockey trophy, right. but it's this very popular <laughs> tumbler. And now the lengths that people will go to get their hands on them. Clearly, it's not Lord Stanley Cup. Mm -hmm. All new this morning, our Barrett Leone got to the bottom about what this hype is all about. 6.30 in the morning and I'm at Target. Simone Spears was one of the lucky ones. I'm just so happy that we got our cups. She nabbed a limited edition Stanley Tumblr. We got this. They come out and they say, we've only got 14 cups. 14 cups? But not before calling mom for backup in Minnesota. She got in line at the Crystal Target about 7.15 um, in the morning, and she waited for about 45 minutes out in the cold. Now, the more than 100-year-old company says its quencher tumblers have become an Internet sensation these last two years. And consumers, well, they can't get their fill. So what's the hype? No, no, I, I do know that... The cup is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. The trendy cup retails for about $45, but some who are able to grab latest releases, including Valentine's Day editions and the Starbucks winter pink Stanley quencher, are now reselling them online. Over 100 responses. Like Jeremy Jones. Jones says he had every intention of gifting the cup until he realized the resale value. I think it is just insane, um, but... I decided, yeah, I might as well just take advantage of it and 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 sell them. He sold two tumblers for nearly triple what he bought them for, and he's not alone. Some are going for hundreds, even thousands above retail value online. I think there's no way economically to justify 150. I think it's becoming an emotional decision. University of Minnesota marketing professor Joe Redden says while it's hard to predict trends. You know, it's not like this is a new thing. We've seen these several times. There's always the hot toy, too. It's always the example of Christmas, right? He sees social media's influence and limited stock playing a huge role in the cup's popularity. And then I think you combine that with some of the scarcity that it, it had for a while. And that's kind of like just putting gasoline on the fire. Barrett Leone, WCCO News. It's just wild to see. Stanley says it will not restock its Valentine's Day or Starbucks collaboration cups again. Fans can either expect other collaborations this year. $9,000 being resold? That's just oh, okay, crazy. Okay. No, I don't know that anybody is buying it for 9000 but he did say someone bought it for three times the value. Golly. Yeah. All right. Not doing it. No. It was you, wasn't it? It was not yeah. me. It was no. not you.